Well, today I'm going to get started on some painting on the welding table. So I've been taking it apart. Got the cherry picker in here and I've got everything apart. I've actually got the shaft sitting on the welding table. So what I'm going to do first is the face plate. I want to take that outside. I'm going to hang it on my, uh, I've got my gantry crane set up outside. We're going to use that, make it a little easier. And I was trying to think of a, a really good way to hang that so that I could paint the bottom. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and paint that on the bottom side. I think that would look good. We'll just paint it with that epoxy and that will just probably leave that. And then this is also going to be the test on how I like that color. So what I thought I would do is that plug that I had made a while back to test fit the threads. What I'm doing is uh, I got it set up and centered. I'm going to drill and tap it 5 8 so that I can use an eye bolt. And what I'll do is screw that plug into this back side and I'll have an eye bolt and I'll be able to pick that thing up right in the center and it should be nice and level. Then I'll be able to just paint it and uh, make life easy there. So that's what I'm doing. Got her set up and by the way I'm just using this uh, center point here this has not got to be anything super precision but my facing marks on here I can see the very center of it so all I did was just line that point right up in the as close as I could eyeball that to the very center and that's where we're at so we're going to we're going to uh, I'm just going to center drill it drill it 17 30 seconds and then power tap it with a 5 8 spiral fluted tap. All right, so let's get going on it. Here's a little trick I don't think I've ever talked about on video. When power tapping, you know, most often these shanks are never on a standard collet size. So I've got a few of these little split sleeves that I made myself that you can put in and drive these collets. I've got it slotted to where it drives on the square, you know, it won't spin. It's split so that it'll tighten up. So what I do is take that, and this is 7 8 I have a 7 8 call it for my RX spindle here. All right, that'll go up in there like so. So let's go ahead and get it in there. And then whenever you tighten it up, the, uh, with it being split, it tightens around the shank of the, of the tap there, okay? go there it is that's it worked out pretty good just wanted to show you real quick I just fit it in there and uh, okay we're ready to go I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this outside all right I'm gonna use the gantry to pick the sucker up
quite a while since I got to use this thing. It was in our old shop. We were still working last time I actually used this. All right, I still got to do a little bit of touch-up cleaning on it, some wire brushing. Got some spots in the corners there I need to get. And uh, I'm going to give it another wipe with my uh, uh, solvent degreaser to dry it. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to try these little little plastic horses out. See if they uh, will hold it. I think it will hold it. I'll keep the chain on it. But I just need something to keep it from spinning. You know, I need to set it down. Now it's trying to go downhill on me. the slope. Okay, there we go. That'll work. And we'll tie our we'll tie our chains off out of the way so they they're not bothering us. Alright, I'm gonna do a little cleaning. And uh, hopefully, shortly, we'll get some paint shot on it. I had to do quite a bit more cleaning on this thing. There was, I came out here to wire brush places like the corners, and it just kept putting off dust and, and putting off dust. And what I realized is that there was an actual, there was actually a, uh, a coating on this, probably whenever it was built. I don't know, it must have been paint of some sort, but it was really hard and really bonded on there well. So I've, I've done spent like another hour just wire wheeling and uh, brushing. I've, I've been using this uh, Norton Rapid Strip on it also, getting it, getting it off there and my wire wheel. And I'm just about tired of cleaning this thing, man. But uh, what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and and uh, clean it real good. I've got my uh, solvent that I like to use right here and uh, got some gloves, got some clean rags and we're gonna give it a good wipe down and once I do that I'm probably gonna do just a little bit of taping. Um, I'll tape this edge here try to create a nice barrier here for the side also and I might unscrew this and put a little bit of tape right here because this does face up to the shaft so I want to keep this edge bare metal here and uh, the rest of it I'm just going to paint and uh, I believe if if any overspray happens to go through and get on the bottom you know that's no big deal because we, we can just dress that with a grinder and scotch bright so do a little bit of cleaning and uh, I'll show you real quick what I do I'm going to put these gloves on I was going to use my blue gloves, but I'm down to my last pair of my good ones. So I'm going to save those for painting. I have some Harbor Freight ones too. I just don't like them because they're too thin to me. This stuff evaporates pretty quick, so you don't want to waste it. It's kind of like brake clean, really. So I'm just going to do this right here. I'm going to go around and try to clean everything and make sure all of the dust is off of it. Get down into the slots there. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do, get her cleaned up and uh, hopefully we're going to get some paint on it soon. All right, I'm ready to spray now. We've got everything prepped and cleaned. Uh, I cleaned the the faceplate really good with my solvent and then I also cleaned it with muriatic acid. Just uh, did a little soak on a rag and just wiped it real good. And so I've got a little bit of paint mixed up and what I decided to do is go ahead and try it on these, um, on this vise first to see how it does. I haven't even tried that paint gun. This is that $5 paint gun I got at the flea market and I got to see if this is going to work and I'm hoping that it does. So we're about to find out. Okay.
too bad. Well, I'm not much of a painter, but I can get the job done anyway. So this, uh, this paint gun seems to be working pretty decent if I can get it regulated right. I've been over here paint, uh, painting the side of the smoker and it's uh, doing better now. I had to adjust the amount of paint. I'm gonna let the, the vise just sit there like that. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the uh, the faceplate now, okay? I turned the air up a little bit on it. It's doing a little better now. I should re recode it. I hate to mix up another batch. I've still got some in here, so I, I know I need to put a little bit more on these uh, on this vise right here. So I'm gonna have to flip that other jaw over. But this may be this may be good, guys. thing I don't know yeah I might have to give a little bit longer to tack in all right well I'm gonna let it tack in for a little while I'll bring you back and let you know what we're gonna do all right well I've done all the painting that I'm gonna do for today and I'm happy with the results it's it's uh, it's worked out really good and you know one thing that I'm really really happy about is this paint gun I told you I paid five bucks for this thing. Now I put the little regulator on it myself, but I want you to look. Now this, I've just cleaned this actually, but whoever had it, it looked just that clean whenever I bought it, okay? So somebody's taking care of it. And to me, it did a pretty good job. I don't know what brand this thing is, But all that was clean. It was actually just a little rusty right there. All that was clean. There wasn't nothing clogged up and caked up in there. So I've got it all clean. And I think it did a pretty good job. I had to do a little bit of fine tuning to get it to paint right. But I tell you what, it did a good job. So what I had done was 
let me turn you around here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk with you. Okay, so what I had done, there was still a little paint left in there and I really didn't mix up a whole lot when I started this project. There was maybe, I don't know, that much paint, probably more than that, but you know, it wasn't a lot. I went ahead and recoated everything. Uh, the the faceplate probably three times actually, but I gone over these really heavy Just I wanted to try to use up that paint that was mixed up and it went a lot further than I thought so I put a Few coats on it and then I came over here to the faceplate I put a second coat on here and then there was a little bit left so I just kept spraying until all of the paint was gone basically so I would say there's probably three coats of epoxy on here and that stuff does pretty good it's it's actually kind of thick so it doesn't run real easy I, I never had any spots that looked like it was going to try to run so I'm still unsure about the uh, how I like the finish but it looks good I have to admit it looks good so we may just roll with this, but I haven't made a 100% decision on that yet. So that's where we're at. I need to let this stuff tack for a little while longer and then try to get it inside. So. All right, next up is gonna be the, the base plate and the column. I got the column over here in front of the shop. I got this hanging, so I'm getting, I'm getting some paint mixed up, the, uh, the epoxy. And we're going to go ahead and start spraying, okay? Got everything prepped and ready to go. I'm gonna cover both sides good and then I'll, I'll put another heavy coat on in a little while. All right, well, I've got all the painting done. Just got to dry now. Got to do some cleanup on my gun. And this paint job is finished though. So I thought I'd give you one more quick peek at everything. And by the way, I went ahead and put the, uh, the base of the little vise that I was uh, fixing up 
I went ahead and put that out there and I got that sprayed now. And we got the column sprayed. By the way, let me turn the mic around. I'm sorry. There's the bottom of the vise and the column. All right, and then we'll come over here and check, check out the plate. Got a couple of gnats that, uh, <laughs> that has landed on it. That's what the little specks are right there, just gnats. But there's not much I can do about that. That's just part of being out here in nature, I guess. I'm not, I don't have a paint booth. This is my paint booth right here. So that's it, guys. I think I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it like this. I do kind of like that semi-gloss finish there. And we'll start putting her back together, okay?